Hi. We're here with hy V corporate dietitian, Amanda Allen. By the way, this segment is sponsored by hy V. How you doing? Good. How are you guys Good doing? Good to see you. Well, doing fine. It's great to see you, and it looks to me like... Hi V is all ready for Easter. Yes, so today I wanted to touch on how to get kids involved in the kitchen this Easter and just some fun different ways to color your eggs this year. Very good. And keep them healthy, of course. Yes, that's of what course. You do. Yes. Yeah. Dietitian and me. Okay. Okay, let's dive right in then. See what's going all on. All right. Here. So first things first, we have some, of course. Everyone's had a deviled egg before, right? Or Love them. I at yeah. least hope so. But for deviled eggs this year, if you wanted to add a little spin, you could boil your eggs, peel them, and add them in a bag of just canned beet juice. Just drain the juice in a Ziploc bag and let it sit in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour, and it gets this beautiful pink color. So you just that take is. your boiled eggs, put them in the juice, yep. yeah. stir them around a bit, yep. and they'll do this right here. Exactly. If you don't have quite enough beet juice, you can add a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure it's fully covered and just put it in a Ziploc bag, let, let it sit in the fridge. Gotcha. A very pastel pink, too. Yeah, it's yeah. so pretty. I'm it loving is, it. it, is, it so, is. Uh, But wait, there's more. You can do <laughs> other colors as well. <laughs> But yes. wait, there's more. <laughs> right? Yes. yes. So you could do blueberries. We have some blue eggs. So over here, we have some eggs that are dyed um, with the shell on. So it has more of like a modern chic kind of look to it. And if you put just a little bit of um, oil on top, that makes them nice and shiny. Ah, oh, so, I wonder what was the shiny. I thought they were still wet, maybe. Yeah. So oh, yeah. we, with the dyeing with the outer shell, you do want to add a fourth a cup of vinegar. Mm -hmm. um, with the canned goods, let it soak in there mm -hmm. with the boiled eggs, and then you get these pretty dyes. So if you have anyone that's allergic to artificial dyes, or if you're just wanting to do some fun food science with kids this year, it's something fun and different. It is indeed. I and love that idea. you also said that with the shells, if you throw them out in the garden, it's helping your garden. Yes, exactly. Let's throw see. the shells in your garden. It really will boost the nutrients in your in the soil. So, and that's coming up soon. Yeah. It's gardening time. So. Thank Goodness. Thank goodness. I'm, I'm ready, ready for, for it. it. Yeah, I need some color out on the back deck. Okay, I want to know, Amanda, what your recipe is. You know, not necessarily down mm -hmm. to the teaspoon or anything. Yes, sure. But when I do deviled eggs, I do typically mustard mayonnaise mm -hmm. or Miracle Whip. I like the tangy zip, gotta yes. be honest. You, however, are using plain yogurt? Yep. So, in a Ziploc bag, if you wanted to get your kids involved this Easter, you would put your, of course, the egg yolks. Mm -hmm. And then I do plain Greek yogurt instead of the mayonnaise. Or you could do half mayo, half plain Greek yogurt. That's, and that's a great idea. Yeah, and it's great. It could boost the protein, decrease the fat, and give you a little bit of probiotic. Um, and then, of course, salt, pepper, a little squirt of mustard. And then they could squish it up in the Ziploc bag themselves, cut it in the corner, and then they can pipe it in there. So it's just a fun, uh -huh. different way. Um, let the kids do some of the work in the kitchen this year, yeah. and there's normally higher food acceptance if they get to play with their food, which I know I like playing with my food. So. Well, if they get but, to uh, have a it, role in preparing it, they're probably more likely to eat it. Oh, my yes. mom and dad always said, don't play with your food. <laughs> this I is say, different. Play this with is very your different. Food. Okay, all yes. right, all right. All and right. you know, eventually they're going to get big enough that you could say to them, would mm -hmm. you do the deviled eggs this year? Exactly. And they'll be like, Sure, and they love that. Yes, I already have my kid cracking eggs at 18 months in the kitchen with me, so. You're kidding. Very smart. <laughs> I'm like, let's get her started. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Try to separate the, uh, yeah. the milk from the white. What'd you bring on the end there, though? So hy has some really cute uh, kitchen stuff. So if you're looking for some Easter basket stuffers, we have a little whisk that looks like a carrot, um, some cookie cutters, which you can use to cut some fruit, like watermelon or pineapple, um, a little chick bunny and a little egg. And we also have a fun mold here. So you can make like your cupcake or muffin in it, but you could also do like your granola bars or you could do a Greek yogurt, like vanilla Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. drop mm -hmm. your berries, dark chocolate, coconut, whatever you want and How freeze fun. that. Fun stuff. There's yeah. always stuff going on at hy -Vee. Now, you still do some of the online instructions, some of the online classes yes. and stuff. How's that going? Oh, it's going so great. We have so much fun. Um, we have hundreds of people joining in, and people get to, you know, come and cook with even family from afar. They'll both, you know, tune into class and be making uh, the same recipes. And we have them for both adults and kids. So every month we have free virtual kids cooking classes. And in summertime, we do camps, too. So 
so this summer we're actually wow. going to be doing camps where um, there's going to be just fun different ways to use your food um, and fruits and vegetables oh, like making that. like a lip good. gloss from your with your fruit or a chapstick right. or making a bird feeder so yeah check out Hy-Vee's website it out. they will have all yeah. the information on there Amanda it is great to Thanks see you always good to see you guys thank Thanks. you so much we'll be right back